Hey, Sessions, meanwhile, suspected killer committed violent crimes against women throughout the state of Florida. In 1972, Paul Rolls murdered Linda Fida in Miami. In 1989, Sessions disappeared in Gainesville. And in 1992, Elizabeth Foster was killed. Rolls' DNA was linked to Foster's murder, but he was never charged. And in 1994, Rolls kidnapped a 15-year-old neighbor in Clearwater. Our Carson Chambers has been looking into that time Rolls spent in Pinellas County. Carson, what have you found? Well, we dug up these reports here at the courthouse. They say that Paul Rolls moved to Pinellas County in 1985 after he was paroled for that Miami murder. He bounced around Pinellas County and also North Florida, but his last victim, as far as they can tell, was in Clearwater, and she was lucky to get away. How old was the victim? 15 years old. Paul Rolls is the prime suspect in the Tiffany Sessions disappearance case. But the sex predator and convicted murderer was also convicted of kidnapping and raping a Pinellas County teen who was his neighbor. Apparently she was sleeping in her bed. When she woke up, he was over the top of her bed and basically forced her and took her with her. He bound and gagged her. And he had a knife? Correct. 1994 reports say Rolls was moving into this Clearwater apartment complex on Auburn Street to get back together with his ex-wife when he kidnapped the teen, raped her, and threatened to kill her. The girl at some point was able to make a phone call and let her relatives know that she had been kidnapped. A Pinellas County Sheriff's Office spokesperson says the teen escaped to a neighbor's house and got help. In July of 1994, Rolls was convicted and sentenced to 19 years in prison. And while Rolls was serving those 19 years in prison, DNA linked him to another Gainesville college student's murder. Beth Foster's body was found, but he was never prosecuted for that murder. Live in Pinellas County, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.